Okay, in the next section, we will be making this animation that I call Kid Hero. Actually pretty simple to do. The only part that is actually animating is the cape. And um, that is a very interesting way that we achieve that effect, which we will get to in a couple of videos. But to begin, we will start by talking about assets. So in Flare, you have the ability to drag in multiple assets. As you can see, I already have a couple of assets at the bottom here, but I'm going to de delete them just to show you how we can import our own assets. So you can either make a folder if you want to structure your asset layout. But for this example, it's pretty straightforward. So we don't um, have that many assets. So you can click import and by default, it will go to download or alternatively, you can just drag it in. So if I go to my resources and I go to um, this kid hero.png, you can see um, we can either drag in PNG files, SVGs, I believe JPEG as well, and you can also do um, Photoshop files. So if you drag in a Photoshop file, it will actually retain the layers, which is very, very convenient. Um, for SVGs, it will also retain some of the layers, but sometimes it might be a little bit different. But let's begin with an example. I'm going to drag in the PNG. And then I'm going to drag this PNG onto the artboard. So this was my initial design for the kid hero. And all I did here was I used a drawing software, um, a drawing software on my iPad, but I guess you can use whatever you want. And I just sketched out the initial design. So instead of going straight to vector, um, I used this as a template and then I um, basically create the vector outline from this template. So it's currently on the artboard. I'm going to hit S for scale and then just drag this down to scale a bit and then T for translate. And then what I want to do, I want to lock this layer. So essentially now I can no longer move it. If I press S for scale, T for translate, I can select it. And then what I want to do is I want to hit V for the pen tool. So V and then to create this shape, it's a matter of just following the outline. So clicking and then dragging to create the shape and then just doing that for all of the shapes or all of the um, contours. And then once you've actually done all of the shapes, you can just hit escape and then select it, hit enter, and then you can go and modify all of these vertices. So for example, if this is, uh, if I don't want this to be a sharp edge shape, I can just go and make this detached. And then for example, here, it shouldn't be um, brought out as much. Maybe we want to bring an additional vector or additional vertices here. We can hit V. Currently it's set to move T for translate. We can hit V to get the pen tool active again, hit V and then create an additional shape and drag that out. And then yes, it's literally just a matter of creating your design. So again, you have the world to your disposal to whatever you want to create. I actually ended up um, creating the shape before the video and I did it in a different software. I made the vector SVG in Adobe. No, I'm lying, not Adobe. I made it in Affinity Designer. And uh, yeah, there are a lot of free tools you can also use. Affinity Designer is a one-off payment, um, not too expensive, but you, you're also free to use Flare. As you see, I'm doing this in Flare. It's just a little bit easier with some tools that are a bit more mature um, when it comes to just doing vector design. Flare in essence is a vector animation tool. So I would say always use multiple tools to your disposal and take or make use of the tools that maximize your productivity for the different phases. But either way, um, the end result will be the same. So instead of going this route, I'm going to delete all of these because we won't need them. So I'm just selecting them and hitting delete. And then I will be importing a different file. So I'm going to be importing this kid hero SVG. And then hitting T for translate, I'm going to select the stage, just zoom out and then drag the kid hero in. So you can see it's, it's kind of offset here. We have the center point where the mouse is 
and you can see that the vector vector image is way to the right. That is probably because the software that I used had the pivot point to be at the top left. And if I drag it to the top and let go, it won't actually add it to the, um, the artboard because the final click that you release needs to be on the artboard. So I'm just gonna leave this here, um, let go. And currently it's off to the side. So, and you can also see that there are multiple layers and multiple nodes that are created. So there's a couple of things we can do at this point. We can make use of the freeze feature for that, that Flare has. So currently it's set to both. And um, that is because I was playing around with this. Normally it would be set to none by default. So if it's set to none and I'm going to the main parent group and I'm hitting T for translate, it will translate everything in conjunction. However, if I set the freeze attribute to images and translate, you will see only the parent nodes get, gets translated and all of these nodes will get translated, but the shape, the shapes like the actual images, they won't get moved. So this is just an easy way to basically censor your images and make sure that the pivot points are aligned to where you want them to be. So I'm gonna say none again, I'm just gonna keep on doing this. Now let's do a quick scale. I hit S on the keyboard and scaled. And same for scale, you can also set a freeze and you can say, don't scale the images. And if I drag now, it scales the, the um, group node, but it doesn't scale the images. So let's quickly get it, this at the position that we want. Another alternative would be simply just to hit the shapes and then drag them out. So getting these shapes out and then just deleting them, maybe selecting both of these, hitting Control G to create a new group. And there we go. So um, one thing that you would use this freeze feature also is let's say I'm, I have a group now and I have these shapes below it. I'm gonna set freeze to be images and then I'm gonna hit T for translate. I'm just going to move this down to the bottom. And now if we remove the freeze and we say rotate, it won't rotate from the middle, from, from the center, it will rotate from this pivot point. So now if we rotate, it rotates like this from the bottom of the feet. And at the same time, you can hit S for scale and it will rotate downwards while maintaining the position of the feet. So as you can see, it will always remain there. So if we show rulers and click there to have a ruler at the bottom, and all we do is we scale, you can see that the position of the feet never change. So yeah, definitely play around with the pivot point for your animations or for your characters. It does extend the flexibility a lot and it will make it easier to achieve certain effects without constantly needing to change the position of all of your images or vectors. In a similar way, you can see that for this freeze feature, you can also freeze joints. So joints are the connecting parts to bones. And in a later video, we will start using bones and then um, we will cover how we can actually use the freeze feature with bones as well. But for now, that is that. That is how we can use assets. And in the next video, we're gonna um, combine all our assets to do a quick layout.